daring, high risk, fast pace. It's parkour, it's hardcore, and it's happening in Chennai. Scaling the sides of buildings, balancing on railings, flying over walls, parkour has it all. Now you're going to get some first-hand experience with this death-defying workout today, and so is my dear victim. Selva. Selva's a peaceful sort. He hasn't lost his temper since grade one. But he's not your everyday engineer. He's got a tattoo. On the victimometer, Selva ranks would slip a disc. Instead of designing buildings, today this high energy engineer is going to be scaling the side of one. Get set, Selva! Parkour, or l'art du déplacement, the art of moving, originated in France and involves crossing obstacles in the fastest, smoothest, most efficient way possible, as one would in an emergency or crisis. It entails moves specific to parkour, as well as jumping and climbing techniques. Uh, parkour was started like a long time back actually in Chennai. But the thing was everybody was doing it individually at their own houses and things. They were like basically jumping without any organization. They were just doing stuff that they like to do. And after a few days, you know, through internet and things, you now through our court, people came to know that there are others who were like doing the same thing. And then we got interested through YouTube, you know, where people were actually organized it, the exercises, the moves, everything was broken down and we started practicing in a much organized way. We formed a community in Orkut and we got in touch with that. And then we got a few people who were like, created website and we got touch in that. And uh, you know, then it's just mushrooms. Now an all out high intensity workout like parkour targets all your muscle groups. So a warm up is required. So the boys led us through a warm-up involving jogging and stretches to limber up the body. He looked like any any guy I would meet. You know, it was it was like okay, but I couldn't judge his fitness level when I first saw him. He told me that he was a swimmer. And as I took him through, when he said he was a swimmer, I knew that his upper body will be a little weak. And, uh, and it showed when he did the workouts. But uh, the guy has guts, I should say that. You know, he, we went through the things. I've seen a lot of people who actually want to do parkour give up. This guy just wanted to do it and he did it. The warm-up was okay, I mean, the running and stuff, it was okay, but then when it came to the exercises, I guess I pulled a muscle or something, I don't know, it was really hectic workout. Uh, I couldn't touch my toes, I really tried hard, but then, I don't know, I couldn't do it. Parkour practitioner is called a traceur or a traceuse if you're a girl. Now there are certain movements specific to parkour that all these lovely boys over here are going to help us get a handle on. So ladies and gentlemen, get ready to vault and roll! <laughs> We started with some ground exercises including the monkey, the spider-man and quadrupedal movements which involve getting down on all fours. Ground exercises in parkour that we do work out the entire body. 
normally what people do is they work out their upper body, you no, know, or their biceps or whatever it is. The push-ups just work out your chest muscles. The upside down handstands they work out your shoulder muscles. But in parkour, what we emphasize on is the core strength and working out the, all the muscle groups in the body. The quadrupedal that we did, it work out your shoulders, your thighs, your calf muscles, your core, everything. The Spider-Man that we do, it will work out your abs, your chest, your neck. Everything gets worked out in this exercise. That's why they are specialized for parkour. Because most of the moves that we do involve all the muscles in the entire body. The term parkour originated from the term parcours de combattant, a form of military obstacle course training propagated by Georges Hébert, a French naval officer. I think I flipped a few moments. I didn't, I mean, I did it okay, not the exact thing, but then it was, and I've never experienced such hectic workout in my entire life, so. I guess you'll have to be here to experience it. Être et durer is an unofficial motto of parkour, meaning to be and to last. With efficiency as its priority, parkour is distinguished from free running, a similar sport, but one which emphasizes creative movement instead. Okay, so my victim and I seem to be moving towards the right direction. In a moment, we'll see if Salva has the courage to overcome every obstacle that stands in his way. Hey! 